Hello, Show Nation. My name is Kirby St. John, designer here with the MLB The Show development team. My focus this year has been starting the evolution of our popular Road to the Show mode. There's a lot to show you, so let's get started. Because Road to the Show is all about playing as a single player on the baseball field, I really wanted the gameplay to better reflect that feeling of actually playing baseball as opposed to controlling a character in a game. A big part of achieving that experience was re-envisioning the way cameras work in the mode. If you're someone who likes to play the outfield, expect a totally different experience than you're used to. The first thing you're going to notice is you are no longer simply going to run to the catch region in order to make the catch. Instead, as the ball is hit up in the air, the camera will actually move in on your player and look up at the ball as it flies through the air. To help you get into position is our new fly ball assist indicator. It will point you towards the catch region, similar to the way the display in a first person shooter would warn you of nearby danger. The display will change from red to yellow to green as you get closer to the catch region, eventually disappearing once you're camped and ready to make the catch. Our camera overhaul wasn't just for fielding. Base running cameras have also been significantly altered and improved. Immediately after you hit the ball, the camera will act as you would expect your eyes to if you were hitting in real life. So, when you hit a deep fly ball to the outfield, the camera will actually tilt up towards the ball, allowing you to watch it as it flies out of the park or as it drops in the outfielder's glove. In order to help you make good base running decisions, we've added a couple of new button functionalities. Pressing L1 pans the camera to your third base coach, who will be giving you instructions. Pressing R1 allows you to immediately find the ball in the field, which is helpful in case the ball is behind you and you need to know what's going on. Gone is the old compass system from years past. Up on the L stick will advance your player and down will retreat him. No matter what direction the camera is facing, the new on-screen display also shows the location of other teammate runners and the intended location of the runner directly in front of you to help prevent you from running him off of a base. Other cool features that are sort of related to the camera overhaul are the new ball trail and ball halo options. By default, both the trail and halo are turned on for all aspects of gameplay. However, you do have the option of turning them off completely or even just for certain situations. While fielding, a couple of new capabilities have been added to give you more control and more to do. The most notable feature is the addition of the user catch option. This option is defaulted off, but can be easily turned on in the RTTS gameplay menu for a greater challenge. When on, you're required to press L2 to catch the ball as it gets closer to your fielder's glove. It's definitely a fun new feature that should provide you with a challenging yet realistic feel. Also added is the ability to call for pickoffs as an infielder. While you're holding the runner close, you can now attempt the pickoff by using the same control combination that you would use if you were pitching. If you think the runner is getting too big a lead, call for a pickoff and send him back to the dugout to grab some pine. The last major gameplay improvement I want to talk about is the new simulator screen. You will now have the ability to track the on-field action while your player is not directly involved. The screen visually displays the action on the mini field and also provides a game log description of each play in the lower box. No more wondering how the other team took the lead in the top of the night. Now let's move on to the Road to the Show presentation overhaul you will experience in MLB 13. The biggest thing to notice right out of the box is the first person audio perspective that we've created while you're on the field. The idea here is to give you the feeling that you are really standing on a baseball field surrounded by other players, the crowd, and other great sounds of baseball. You'll still hear Matt, Eric, and Steve after the play if they have something to say about what you just did or to recap the game. And that right there was his first hit at the double-A level. Steve, that's got to be an exciting moment for him. However, during the play, you are on the field. We've recorded thousands of new player and coach yells, hundreds of new sound effects, and remixed the audio to provide you with a complete 3D sound perspective. You'll now hear everything from your player's cleats digging into the dirt to your player slapping his glove before the pitch. In the minor leagues, crowds will feel relatively small and more isolated to certain directions, like behind home plate. However, in the majors, the crowd will feel big and like it's surrounding you from all directions. Beyond the on-field sounds, there was of course a big emphasis on providing presentations that highlighted your player's performance and career progress. What a special way for him to start out his major league career. 
The final topic I want to touch on while we are discussing revamp presentation is the new pregame player spotlight segment. Neil Smith is in the glow. And as you know, he took home the AL Rookie of the Year award last season, and here he was presented with the trophy just moments ago. The idea here is to showcase the progress of your player's career with longer discussions by the commentators. This is really a great honor for him, and clearly, his big league career is off to a great start. Okay, we're about to wrap this up, but before we do, I want to quickly discuss a few other notable improvements to the mode. New in MLB 13 The Show is the ability to fully customize your player's batting animations from the Edit Player menu. Alter everything from his follow-through to his walk-up, practice swing, stride, home run swing, and more to give the virtual you the right look. Keep an eye out for enhancements to the career achievement screen. It will now keep track of more events in your career, like your first major league hit, and will also display what the date was, who you were playing for, and who you were playing against. This should give you a better way to look back at your career and remember the early days when your body didn't hurt so much. Wait, maybe that's just your couch. Well, we've covered a lot of ground, and that's not even everything. I hope you enjoyed this blog, and I hope you're excited to check out all of these improvements and changes. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to pick up your copy of MLB 13 The Show on March 5th. Station.